In Iraq, a series of horrific attacks has Arab Christians packing up and leaving like never before. They've been seeking sanctuary in neighbouring Jordan. Middle East correspondent Ben Knight filed this report from the Jordanian capital. When Iraqi Christians run for the border, many of them end up here, at St Ephraim's Church in the Jordanian capital, Amman. These are the most recent arrivals. Susanna and her baby son fled Baghdad two weeks ago after a massacre at their church. We put up with so much, but after that, we were much more scared. More than 50 people were killed after al-Qaeda laid siege to the Sayyida at Najat church in Baghdad. Nijim Abdullah's two cousins were also killed there, and he and his family might have been among them too had he not left Iraq just before after receiving a visit from Islamic militants. They came into my shop and demanded a thousand dollars a month or they would kill me and my son. These exiles paint a frightening picture of a country where open season has been declared on Christians, even children. We left because they tried to kidnap us, the same people who kidnapped my mother. These girls' mother has been missing for two years. They're now being cared for by this woman, who fled Iraq after her own husband was kidnapped and killed nine months ago. There's nothing new about Christians from the Middle East leaving for a better life in the West. That's been happening for decades. But even from the relative safety of a country like Jordan, Christians are looking at what's happening around them, and they're frightened. Shortly after the massacre in the Baghdad church, Al-Qaeda put out a statement saying that all Christians are now legitimate targets. No one here considers that an empty threat. Ben Knight, ABC News, Amman.